share is tired now. It's there. He's got it. It's under the net. Here's the offer. I want to fight Glover. The next fight. Yuri Prohaska will defend his light heavyweight title against Glover Teixeira at UFC 282. Breaking news, Yuri Prohaska has vacated the light heavyweight championship. I canceled that fight. I have to say sorry to Glover. That's life. Really unfortunate news that Yuri Prohaska suffering a very severe shoulder injury. And as a consequence of that, Magomed and Kalaev versus Jan Blachowicz is going to be the new main event. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe I've lost my in mind. In the biggest moments, you have to step up. Somebody's in the mirror. It's very even. A face I don't recognize. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is Satisfying to have a night like we had in Las Vegas and it end like that. What do you do now? You do Glover versus Jamal Hill and Brazil for the vacant title. Navigating unforeseen circumstances is business as usual for the UFC. And priority number one in 2023 is crowning a new light heavyweight champion, which will occur at UFC 283 in Rio. Let the games begin. Brazil's former champion, Glover Teixeira. My prediction is to win, to get the belt back. Faces Sergio Marco, Jamal Hill, and the main My vision for securing his title. That is what I've implemented everybody put in front of me. It won't be no different against Glover to share. Before history can be written in real. Você pode esperar um cara totalmente diferente. Eu vou quebrar essa tua cara. You can do nothing against me. First. Headliner Glover Teixeira is one of immeasurable determination. An up and coming sent back to Brazil, bound by years of visa issues. Who returned for a run towards the title. Glover Teixeira showing you 
decision. Kirin Prohaska has vacated the UFC light heavyweight title due to injury, and now the throne is set to be assumed by one of two worthy men. When Judy got hurt, they take me out of the fight. But I feel like my opportunity will come to fight the winner. Oh, boy. No vacancy sign will be out later to crown a new UFC light heavyweight champion. Beautiful low kick by Jan Bohovic. Don just can't count on that. Just this will not be enough. You got to score. Neither of these men prepared for a five-round fight. Very even. The likely next challenger, the former champ, Glover to share. This contest is declared a split. Oh, who I'm fighting at? Uh, you know, there's no champion, so right away they call me in the backstage. Say, hey, you want to fight in Brazil, Jamal Hill for the title? Say, let's go. My phone rings, my manager calls. He's like, Dude, they just offered you Glover in Brazil for the title. So how are we gonna do it? Like, headshots are worth more? Of course. What? You No, seriously. You, Glover, share Rio for the title. Yes, flew out my mouth so many times. Councilman, we prepare to go to battle. Jamal, if you're not low enough for that, for that escape, keep, get your right, left arm back out. Rest of your left elbow. Bump and get that elbow back down. There you That's go. It. Keep turning, keep turning. That's it. What's the neck? Jamal's got so much talent and so much potential. And when you train with him, when you grapple with him, you know, he does things that he shouldn't be able to do. Step over his feet with your right foot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Master, master. With the training we're doing, he'll be plenty successful. I don't see Glover giving him a lot of trouble on the ground. Time. Good step off of the lateral steps are there. For sure, we're going into enemy territory with Glover. We respect him. We just feel our skills are better. Glover ain't gonna be able to take the shots. That time from Hill continues to go to the body, and that one hurt Topic. Elbow on top. And now Jamal Hill trying to end this thing. Oh, it's not a fight, bro. Topic nearly crumbling now. Oh, product of Dana White's contender series. Michigan's Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill breaks in his first contract Vicious knockouts. Oh, big right right He's getting I've knocked a lot of people out. Jimmy Crew. Johnny Walker. Santos. Contender, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. For the KO King from Grand Rapids. Athletics were an early coming. I started playing football when I was five years old. Eventually ended up playing semi-pro. Kind of ran his in with me at the semi pro level. At this point, I had already been training in MMA. I'd also already won my first amateur title. As a kid growing up, chasing this, it was for me. The minute I had kids, that all changed. I'm a father of six. I want to lay a foundation for my kids to where. Whatever they want to do or pursue in life, I want happiness to be their goal. And that's what this foundation I'm laying is for.
Jamal Hill will be entering enemy territory when he faces Brazilian Glover Teixeira in Rio. But the former champ will also enjoy a massive experience advantage. With more than three times as many pro fights as Hill, the 43-year-old Teixeira continues to embrace the methods to keep him going. The better you build yourself to be stronger, the better chance you get to survive. You always got to be focused and do the things that you need to do, not what you wanted to do. That's the key. It's good in my recovery. I feel really good when I do it in the morning. Woo! That's what I love, the ice bed. It's kind of like it wake me up, you know? It gets me going. Oof. This is every day. No matter how I feel, I come over here. Ah, I feel reborn. The result that I'm thinking, that belt in my hand, in front of my crowd, it's gonna be amazing. cycle of recovery and training continues as always with Teixeira's main sparring partner in the gym newly minted UFC middleweight champion Alex Pereira UFC 283 in Rio de Janeiro. It's the heart charging Jamal Hill. Uh, uh, uh. Hill swarming. Uh, uh, uh. Versus the Brazilian hero. Oh, it's a tap to the deck. And former champion Glover Teixeira. Glover Teixeira breaks through. To crown the light heavyweight king. I'm 43 years old, <laughs> going for the title shot. At 43, looking the way he's looking. When I win this belt, the Rio de Janeiro. Look at how fast his hands is. Look at his speed. Oh, it's gonna be an incredible moment. He's here, day by day, no matter what. I'm breaking the rules, baby. I can't wait. But Jamal Hill, he thinks differently. He sees things coming. He's very calculated. Oh, it's gross. Sweet dreams is starting to feel it. He's a savage, but he's a calculated savage. It's all love and it's all respect. It's all business. Something's got to give as we decide the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. first quadrilogy between flyweight king Davis and Figueredo. He has reached his championship level. He also seems to be a guy who's peaking. And interim champ Brandon Moreno. Moreno is not really high level guys. He's a very aggressive striker. He's got a very good ground game as well. He may not have materialized at all. And they're not both competed on the same card. One cool November night in Las Vegas, 2020. So on the same night, Davis and Figueredo defends his title. Brandon Moreno will try to make a statement for a crack at the belt. He is out to prove tonight that he should be next for a shot at that flyweight belt. Moreno, it's a vicious hammer fist. That's it. I'm ready for the title now. I'm so ready for that. The undisputed UFC flyweight champion, Davison Figueredo, looks like a guy who potentially could reign for some time. Oh, look at this, the guillotine. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, my God! I'm here to defend Rafael Bruno Moreno. Bruno Moreno, you're going to fight with me in December? Let's go, Dana. Let's do this in December. We're going to keep him here. He's not going back to Brazil. We're going to turn him right around. Really, how fast? 
fast do you think that'll happen? December. Just 21 days later. Prepare with me for the first time. And wage an epic 25-minute battle of mixed martial arts. Oh, Figueredo is making it known that he's down the wrong. of result. And this rivalry had only just begun. Following one of the greatest title bouts in UFC history, a pair of flyweight stars were born. each the product of humble beginnings in Belém, Brazil, and Tijuana, Mexico. Fight is part of my Mexican nature. Fight for yourself, for your family, or for survivor. Hey, señores, no me esperen a mí, me a calentar. We have a lot of champions, a lot of cultural boxing in my country. I'm working so hard to bring the same passion and the mixed martial arts in the future. Principalmente aqui no Brasil, tem uma longa história, cara, uma longa história dentro do UFC representando ali o meu, o meu país, a cada pessoa que ali está na plateia, a cada pessoa que estão me vendo. Isso vai me dar um gás a mais, porque eu sei que tem muitas pessoas querendo me ver, vencer, querendo defender o cinturão, manter o cinturão. A primeira luta com o Breno Moreno se bateu muito, né? Me levou a vitória. Eu sei que ganhei aquela noite. Fizemos e proporcionamos uma ótima luta. Figueiredo seems so willing to stand there and just trade punches. E bom, a segunda luta ele aceitou e eu também. The greatest fight in the flyweight division's history. They're gonna fight again. They should. So Davis and Figueroa, Brandon Moreno fought to a draw in December. Round six beckons tonight. This rematch, I cannot wait. The first fight was absolutely madness. These guys went back and forth. We needed to see this one again. Six months later, it shall be done. <laughs> I knew 
I can beat this guy. Oh my god, he's got it! He's got it! He Brazilian challenger would join forces with former 28 UFC champion Henry Cejudo. <laughs> While the Mexican champ would take advantage of the UFC performance institute. <laughs> until the pair met for a third time in January of 2022. Third consecutive meeting between Brandon Moreno and Davison Figueredo. Styles make fights. These guys just feel like they were meant to fight several times. A trilogy potentially to be completed here tonight. The jab down by the champ. You remember the last fight? That is what allowed the champ to control the fight. Figueredo certainly measured, but super efficient. Moreno, the more active guy. Figueredo. One win for Moreno. And one draw. After my last Figueredo's fight, I was like very frustrated. I was like angry with myself in that moment. But the next day I was thinking, what is my next step? The clear next step appeared to be a fourth fight to settle the score. Until injuries sidelined the champion. You know the UFC wanted the fourth fight with Devison, and you know it would have been a big fight. I mean, crazy history. Why not wait? I don't want to say he's lying or whatever, but maybe he's going to start to put a lot of excuses. The last one was the injury. Whoa. I'm doing the sacrifices. I'm doing everything well. If Davidson is not ready, I don't want to wait. Do you feel like you'll see him again, or do you think his days as a flyweight are over? It was crazy. A lot of injuries, a lot of excuses by Figueredo. I'm done with the drama. I want to fight. I want to keep my legacy go up. I don't care. I decide to take the fight against Kaikar France. Pleasure for Dana. Is there an update on Davidson Figueredo? No. Figueredo's absence. Intern belt went up for grabs between Moreno and the hard hitting former foe from New Zealand, Kaikara France. This man has all the ability to become a world champion. Kaikara France, 
has a chance tonight to really make history. Brandon Moreno broke through last June to become the first Mexican-born UFC champion. A picture of focus as he tries to secure the interim title. And these are two of the most skillful men in the sport. That left hand for Moreno here to get Conor Watts' attention. That championship level experience is huge for Moreno. There's a lot of pressure on Kaiko. Eu sou o verdadeiro dono do cinturão. Né? Ali foi só uma qualificação para o Breno Moreno voltar comigo. Aê! E eu fui lá, fui lá fechar a luta com ele. Fui lá fechar a luta e já estava na cabeça de trazer essa luta para o Brasil. E consegui. Vai, agora, chuta! Vai! champion Henry Cejudo. Preparations for UFC 283 will remain at home. Saí de Belém do Pará, rodar as as equipes que rodei. Me proporcionou mais coisas novas para levar para dentro da minha equipe, né? Mais conhecimento. Vai. Eu estou implantando dentro da minha equipe, eu implantei dentro da minha equipe. Vai saber como faz isso aí, quem tentou fazer essa passada de pé. Isso aí, vai tentar, isso aí, isso aí é ponto. Technique or background from another fighter from another part of the world is very important for every fighter. It makes you better always. I don't know how Brandon is doing, and I respect the work, but what I am seeing in Davidson is that he's understanding more, um, getting better. Um passo atrás, que uma finalização. UFC interim flyweight champion Brandon Moreno has always sought new ways to improve his game. to face champion Davison Figueredo for the fourth time. In MMA, it's always like trying try to learn a lot of different things. You maybe think you can't evolve too much, but man, that's a mistake. My boxing, I think, is one of the key of my victories right now. 
So I tried to find a boxing coach who can like help me improve my skills. Moreno's boxing pursuits now take place just a few miles east of the Las Vegas Strip. Under the guidance of trainer Jorge Capetillo, a lesser known pugilist with world famous students. I've been blessed to work with fighters like Tyson Fury, like Andy Ruiz, like Brando Moreno. This is a great team, it's a family. We all put something on the table to make the game plan for the 4-5 against Figueiredo. Capetillo showed me I had a lot of things to improve in my game, and he's helping me a lot. Este es más largo cuando vas atrás del pueblo, si es más largo. Así lo vas a hacer igual como lo vas a hacer. We went sparring with the best sparring partners. Ready? Dos segundos, mi papá, te sigo más efectivo. Al decirte afuera nada más medio paso, que el cuerpo se atrás y los putazos enfrente. El muerto delante, la lloradera atrás. I know this is the fight. To make history is the fight of his life. Mexicans on top. On four. De ahí atrás, de ahí atrás, de ahí atrás. Si llegas. Sí, 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 sí. De ahí, de ahí, de ahí, de ahí. Búscala ahí, no lleves prisa. Búscalo, 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 búscalo. Ahí está. Mucho mejor, mijo. So I'm making sure that he got all the tools and the resources to go to work. Brandon Moreno, the, the world will see. Hey, 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 hey. Flyweight champion keeps the entirety of training camp right at home in Belém. Vamos lá, mais duas, explode. Vamos, mais uma. Aí, vai, explode. Explode. Isso, mais forte, mais forte, mais forte. Vai, 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 vai. Aí. Only briefly interrupted by a business trip to UFC 283's host city. Mostrar um pouco do meu talento. Emotional jaunt that reminds Davison Figueroa of just how far he's come. I, when I entered the UFC, I was very timid. Now, for me, it just became natural. It's my life. In the beginning of my story, when I arrived in Belém, Pará, I learned to fight. The first job inside of Belém. And today, I'm in Rio de Janeiro. Now, I'm here with the best fighter in the world. Sejam muito bem-vindos ao nosso Band News na área. Deus da guerra. É, Davidson Figueiredo. Irmão, é um prazer exato. Eu lembro que eu fiz a minha primeira luta num bairro em Belém. Nocautei rápido a luta. No outro dia, o bairro todo passava ao lado dos, das criancinhas, das molequinhas. Ó, oh, o Deus da guerra ali, o Deus da guerra ali. Conversar com as pessoas, poder falar de mim, mostrar para as pessoas tudo que eu vivi. Lá atrás e o que eu tô vivendo hoje. Não é amigo, é campeão! Obrigado, gente. Obrigado, irmão. Vale. Com emoção e eu sou feliz pô, por tudo que acontece em minha vida. UFC 283 will be the promotion's first event in Brazil since March of 2020 where Figueiredo will enjoy a home field advantage in the co-main event billing against his greatest rival. Oh my God, he's got it! He's got it! That'll do it! A wild exchange! Their legacies will be forever intertwined. Mexico's Brandon Moreno. Tá sendo incrível estar aqui no Rio de Janeiro, né, fazendo a promoção dessa luta. Não tá sendo mais incrível porque eu tenho que estar olhando para essa cara dele todos os dias no corredor, né? Você fala muita m****, cara. 
Aqui no Brasil, meu irmão. Você não tá no México, não. Você tá lutando embaixo da minha torcida aqui. Irmão. Cala a sua boca. Você pode esperar um cara totalmente diferente. Eu vou quebrar essa tua cara. I fought with you like three times. You can do nothing against me, man. I can feel myself in the, moment, in the best moment of my life. I'm ready. to get an easy way to a title shot. I'm not the easy way. Very few human beings can survive with that man. Gilbert Burns is a beast, man. He's so strong and physical, and the way that he trains is insane. Very hard to deal with. Anyone can get it, anyone! They cannot just take me down. I have my grappling on the stand-up. I have heavy hands, and they know I'm not a quitter. Gilbert Burns is a warrior, and he'll fight anyone. He will, absolutely. When they said Shimaev, he was signing on the dotted line. Hamzat said, hey, I want a war. I want to be tested. Well, guess what? Dorino's giving it to him right now. Every time that I step right here, I'm going to give it everything I have. My goal here is to become a champion and fight the toughest guys. I know that UFC started asking, how about this guy? I said, yes. How about that guy? I said, yeah. And a lot of guys declined the fight. You have an amazing fight with Hamza Shemaev. Everybody's like, yes, I gotta see more of Gilbert Burns. What the hell's going on, man? Where, where's this fight gonna happen next? The UFC said they're gonna give me the fight, and then I don't mind, you know, give me any one. Just give me a date, a contract. I'm just gonna fight anyone. willing adversary to face Burns next has emerged from the welterweight ranks. Who do you want to see next? Oh, 100%. Gilbert Burns. Let's go. A veteran of 28 UFC fights by the name of Neil Magny. When we go for the double, pull, come to the hip, push him back in, get your body back underneath. His career is defined by seizing opportunity. My first year UFC, I went one and two. I remember coming into the gym one day thinking like, all right, that's it. Donald Sorry had been in the gym that day. He walked in like, dude, what the hell you all down for? And I'm explaining to him how like, man, I think I'm about to get cut. Play a little good tight zone one before the sub, right? Be realistic, ride the legs. He's like, well, you might as well send UFC an email now and see if you're cut or not, rather than sitting there moving like a little bitch the whole time. Pick a side, get that knee to the wall. I sent an email saying like, hey, my last two fights doesn't explain who I am at all. I would just love another opportunity. Put a little rack on when you get the train was over, there was an offer to fight in UFC again. Nice. It's all part of the growth of becoming a complete fighter, which is ultimately every fighter's goal. 
Japanese UFC revival would see him earn seven consecutive wins. Beautiful right hand there from Magny, and another constant evolution continuing for Neil Magny. It seemed like he was a little hesitant in the past, but he's Victories over former champions like Johnny Hendricks, Carlos Conant. Johnny Hendricks, Carlos Conant, and the modern on it goes. Oh, wow, stepping deep for Magni. He just keeps lining him up and putting him down. And now an embouncing triangle. That's it. That'll do it. Neil Magni, head again. Neil will fight anybody. And there it is. The man's literally fearless. Oh, oh my Magni goodness. Fans know this game. The fans know that he's going to bring it. Magni's real game is pushing you to a place that you're not used to, and then he takes over. Yeah, he's a vampire. He just sucks your blood. Oh! One of the most active fighters of all time, most wins in welterweight history. Neil Magni's been getting it done in the octagon for years, to the point where he's tied with George St. Pierre for most of all time. He's really coming into his own. And with the schedule that this guy keeps, you got to think it's just a matter of time. Around the corner, let's go break it to that top five. Let's go. Hey, Liam, come here. You want to put a Christmas tree up? Ooh, what's that? It's a Christmas tree. Whoa. Can you help me carry it? Yeah. After breaking the record for most welterweight wins, previously held by former champion George St. Pierre, Bagney right, finds new motivation in he and his wife Emily's growing family. Can put the base in the corner so you put the tree in it? My wife, one of my training partners, was actually married to her sister. Liam, look what I got. That's more Christmas decorations. She kind of set us up, and I dismissed the idea of even getting to know him because I didn't really feel like I wanted to get to know a professional athlete. That's OK, honey. Babies do that. <laughs> but he was very different. He was kind of shy. How do I fix the star? He was sweet, and I hadn't really dated somebody like that before. Like Magni, his UFC 283 opponent, Gilbert Burns, is motivated by his kids and supported by his wife. We met in internet. Then we met in Carnival, the famous Brazilian party. We talk, and then we start dating. Right away, I kind of felt that she was the one. Runner is my number one support. She was with me since the beginning. She had all the story in jiu-jitsu. She's four times Brazilian national champion. Not bad. Yeah. It's kind of easier for me that she understands she's being true, so thank you. Very good. He's a big supporter for me. Return to Brazil. Fast and smooth at distance, strong and hard and close. Where he hopes to defeat the record breaking American, Neil Magny. This man has true heavy knockout power, and he's a three time Jiu Jitsu world champion. Every turn took the title picture. Domination, start to finish. The way I see my road to a title shot. Oh, it's over. I need to destroy the guy that in front of me. That's what I'm planning to do. Finish oh! Neil Magnum by any means necessary. Oh, Neil Magnum, his work ethic is just unquestionable. For me, I need to put on a pace that's impossible for him to keep up with. I love the fact that I can break Gilbert. Oh my goodness. And be close to making my dream of the UFC champion a reality. 
Welterweight title hopefuls paved the way for flyweight champions in the Kalmain event. As interim champ Brandon Moreno. Davison figure ready for the fourth.